BuildShip comes with built-in cloud storage that you can use in your workflows. This makes it super easy to save files, images, or assets that you might generate or need to use in your apps. Of course, you can connect to, say, you own Google Cloud Storage or other storages you want, and that the flexibility of BuildShip. You are not limited in any way. Today, let's learn how we can use BuildShip storage and explore how to use the different nodes for working with it. Let's take a look at this example I've got here. This is a workflow that takes a URL via a post request, gives it to a URL to PDF node, and then generates a local report.pdf file. Of course, this isn't publicly available, so let's use BuildShip's cloud storage to make it available. I click here on the node, and I'm going to go look for storage. And here on BuildShip file storage, we can see I've got a bunch of different nodes that I can use. Let's just take a brief moment to take a look at these. We've got rename storage folder, list files, delete folder, delete file, zip folder, move file, move folder, generate public download URL, file rename, upload base64 file, upload text to file. Another very important one, which is the one we're actually going to be using, is upload file. So this is going to upload a file to BuildChip's built-in Google Cloud storage bucket and returns the public URL. Let's add that node. Fantastic. So here we've got our destination and local file path. Our local file path, we can take as the return value from our URL to PDF node. All done. The destination, well, we don't want them all to be called report.pdf, do we? So how about we use a little bit of template literals to call this reports forward slash date.now dot PDF. Got to change this over to be JavaScript. And there we go. Perfect. Now we can have a dynamically generated file name based on today's date. Perfect. So the return value is now going to be uploaded file from that download URL. Great. Let's go ahead and ship this. And I call this API call build ship storage. And let's ship. Amazing, here I am in Hopscotch. I've sent off my post request to my URL and we can see there's my storage API with today's date. Let's go ahead and try it out. And now we can see our uploaded PDF, which is wonderful. Let's go back to BuildShip for a second. Let's say for a minute that it's not that we wanna get that URL returned back. What if we wanted to extend this to not only upload the file, but also return a list of all of the reports so far? For that, we'll have to look at the build ship nodes again and look at list files. So the folder path we're going to set to reports because remember our destination folder is called reports. So we'll just type that in here. And with that, we can go ahead and set the return value of this workflow to not be the download URL, but actually the list of files. Once that's done, we can go ahead and ship again. Amazing. Here we are back in Hopscotch and check it out. Now I've got my whole list of reports. Some that I've made under different names and some that I've made with today's date. So there you have it, friends. Let's go back to BuildShip. If you want to see what files you've uploaded to BuildShip's built-in storage, you can go to your project settings and then click on the storage tab. This is just a starting point. Expand this any way you like to build your ideas with a powerful backend. See you in the next video.